Deborah Day. Still a And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. It's finally arrived. Winter. Yes. <laughs> it's suddenly got an awful lot colder. Yeah, or, and wetter. Oh, very much wetter, so yes. And we even had a little bit of snow. Yes, and not very much. Um, not even a proper covering. I'll have to get Max quite excited. <laughs> For about 10 seconds. Until he realised he wasn't going to stay. <laughs> yeah, we had a bit of snow yesterday morning, but it had gone by midday. Yeah. Oh, but we are expecting quite a bit this weekend. So. This, it's supposed to be coming, so we'll, we'll let you know. We'll see. We might have <laughs> lovely snowy pictures in next week's video. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> excuse the noises. Dexter's not comfortable. Yeah, he's okay. decided he's going on his bed now. Yeah, off we go. <laughs> go lie down. It's, all, it's also <laughs> our last week of Dexter. Yes, so we'll, uh, we'll bring you more Dex next week. <laughs> <laughs> his final week here. Yeah. Before he goes back to his mum and dad. I think he's enjoyed his stay. I think so. I'm not sure the cats have, but Dexter well, has. <laughs> so Wednesday was uh, quite an important day if, if you were Scottish. Yes, definitely. It was Robbie Burns Day. And it was also our wedding anniversary. Yes, 30 years. 30 years. Who would have thought <laughs> we'd have had our 30th wedding anniversary living in Bulgaria? Not when we had our 25th, no. <laughs> <laughs> We had a very pleasant day. Didn't go anywhere. No. Nope. Just spent it sitting here. It was lovely. And we had anniversary burgers. We did. Adam mm. made burgers. <laughs> yes, we can't get. We didn't get haggis. No. Don't see, we haven't found it. If anybody knows where we can get haggis out here, let us know. Yeah. We have spent twenty odd years of our married life at least <laughs> twenty seven <laughs> till we came out here having yes. haggis every for our anniversary dinner every year. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it was also my mum's birthday. It was. So it was a big day in our calendar, wasn't it? Yeah. But after Wednesday, we got on with a few little jobs. Yes, we've been pottering around. Um, progress has been slow due to the change in the weather. And but, temperatures. And temperatures, yes. Uh, but we have continued with the projects and um, this is what we did this week. This is how far we got with the stairs last week. You can see I put the base layer of bricks in, ready to build on top of. Well. Let's carry on and see how far we get this week. So that's all the stairs, or the bricks in place to make the steps. That's the basic foundation for them. There will be a bit of rendering going on, and then whatever the top surface is going to be, which will bring the height of the steps up um, to meet with the steps that have been placed in the wall. The next job is going to be making good these surfaces here, this surface at the back, this surface on the side, so that we following the line of the wall down and uh, filling in any gaps that have been left. So I've done some of the filling. I'm finding that the way to do this is obviously in layers. Um, it's too big a gap to fill in one go. Uh, so what I've done is I've put a base in for the top layer to stick to. There's still a bit of uh, tidying up and sorting out to do here, but uh, we are beginning to fill up the space, get the shape we want. The next job is to get the sides so they're fairly straight. Luckily, I've been given a brief from Lynn, which is keep it rustic looking. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. And now that the filling I've done there is dry, I can put the next layer on and start tidying it up. In order to give myself a fighting chance of getting this wall somewhere near straight, I put a former along the side there that I can fill up to the edge of. Hopefully this will enable me to be able to get something close to straight. It doesn't have to be totally straight, but it would be nice if it uh, looked <laughs> like someone competent had done it. So I'm going to give this a go, fill in behind that, and that will give me some sort of edge straight corner to work to, hopefully. We'll find out. 
I've built up the sides um, up to the edge of the former. That's not the final surface. I will go over the top to make it a little bit flatter, but it has filled out the bulk of the space, um, ready to continue. I've also put this piece of wood across the top, which will be where the very edge of the top step goes. That's not the final piece. It's just to give me an edge to fill up to. Again, I've done 90% of it. I've just got the finishing off to do. That's nice and dry now. The problem I now have is the temperatures have really dropped. Uh, the temperature in this corridor is currently around two degrees centigrade, which is a little bit cold for filling. So I'm gonna to have to wait until it warms up before I can finish this part of the job off, move on to another project. So I'm going to show my attention now to doing the ceiling. This is just a temporary surface to fill the hole up while it's very cold. Um, I've got to rebuild some of the wood here build the top surface up before I can run cables and put the suspended ceiling in. So that's going to be the next project we tackle while we're waiting for the temperatures to warm up. We're starting to find the jobs that we can do when the weather's cold and wet and miserable. Yeah, so a bad planning on my part. I didn't realise it was going to get so cold so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact I told him. I did. But they never get the forecast right, do they? So, oh well. Onwards and upwards. And talking of upwards, that's our next job. Yes, once we get that ceiling sorted, it should make it an awful lot warmer out there. Yes. Um, it is a bit chilly with a hole in the ceiling, as you can imagine. <laughs> so we'll be starting on that next week, won't we? Yeah. In other news, it's Palomarx's first trading day of 2023 tomorrow. It is. It coincides with the bad weather, unfortunately, but they do have the facility to have some of the stuff inside. So if you're in the area, pop along. Yeah. It's here in the afternoon, so it's not even an early start for you. So that's about it for us this week. Yes, I think it is. It's been quite quiet, but we tend to slow down when the weather gets cold. Yes, <laughs> that and our age. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. <laughs> so until next week, it just leaves us to say. Stay safe. Be well. Do, do scoro. Do scoro.